This is Gifty Etc. from giftyetc.blogspot.com. Today I thought I'd talk to you about how I use my planner on any given day. So today, just to give you some reference point, is Wednesday the 11th. And you can see that I've already marked out the days before today. Yesterday I had a minor surgery, so I have all the notes right here. And even though I still mark things out in highlighter, I want to keep track of those, so I put a box around them so that I'll notice that they're not marked out. Now, generally, the first thing I look at is the actual day. And so here in the actual day, you can see I've already done my blog, and I haven't yet frozen my chili. Now, you can see that I have a O and a context code H. And that context code means it's something that has to be done at home, and the chili has to be frozen today or it won't be any good. Um, I've already done my Pi Day update. You see a C that had to be done on the computer. So it gets highlighted as it gets done. And I still need to dye my hair. I also have to do my dailies for today. And you'll notice that I'm now using these little post-it tabs. These post-it tabs allow me to just move this from day to day. And I have a checklist of what these dailies are on my computer. But basically they're things like doing some laundry, doing some dishes, cleaning the house for 15 minutes. You'll see I have different columns. So this is my due column and nothing is really due today. This is my should do column. I hope to get all these things done today. And this is my if I have time column. As much as I blog, blogging is a backup thing that I do only if I have time. I can glance at yesterday really quick and I see that I have to work for an hour or so tomorrow. Um, and if I turn the page, I could also glance at next week and all the things that I have to do then. But let me show you today's daily docket. So here's my daily docket. I use a Quavetus planner for this. And because I just had that surgery, I wrote in the times that I need to take my medicines. And I also wrote things like that I have to go to carpool today or pick my kid up from choir. Some overflow on the schedule went right here. I filled this in using my monthly planner. Um, any timed events go on my monthly pages. And as I filled it in, I wrote a D. So you can see a D right here that says that I can look at my daily docket to find out that information. Right here I have my ongoing to-do list. And it is divided up by context codes. So here are the things that need to be done in my planner. Here are the things that need to be done on my computer. Here's all the things that need to be done at home. Those things also go right here on my daily docket. Basically, I just wanted to show you that when I look at today, I only need to look at today's weekly square and my daily docket. Anything else on this planner, all the really cool information about what's coming up next month, basically anything for the future, anything else on this planner is not relevant to me today and I don't have to look at it. And that's a really great thing because it means that I can be assured that whatever I need to take care of today is right here on my tab. You can see my little tabs that show me where this week is on my little this week tab. I have a couple other tabs. This one's for the monthly planner, just so that if I write in an appointment, I can do it quickly. And this little purple tag right here is where I write down my exercise and my log. So those are just things I need to get to really quickly. Um, I have my highlighter and my pen right here. And my highlighter just erases whatever gets done. That's it. That's all I need to worry about for today. And that's the great thing about this planner is that once I've looked at today's stuff, I'm done for the day. Take a look at your planner. Think about what you need to look at each day and make sure that it's in a place where you can see it all and it all makes sense to you. Also visit my blog at www.giftyetc.com for more information about how to use a day planner effectively and how to be organized.